Hey, this is John, Becky, and Franklin from the Stub Group team. Uh, Stub Group is a premier Google partner and digital advertising agency, and we help businesses dominate Google ads and make money online. And today we will hopefully share some helpful insights to help you do just that. So Becky, I'm going to turn things over to you. What are some of the most common questions that businesses are asking right now when they reach out to Stub Group looking for our help? Yeah, I think as businesses start to realize that Google is the yellow pages of, of 2024, they know that their business has to show up on Google. And understanding all the different places that a business can show up on Google can be really confusing. Um, even for a regular agency that's not uh, active on the digital side of things, it's not always the easiest to understand all of the different elements that go into visibility when people are searching for the service you offer or the product that you supply. Um, one of the biggest questions that businesses have across the boards is how do they show up on Google Maps why is it important? And how does all of that connect to their advertising? So Franklin, as a client success manager here and a director of client success at Stub Group, you know, what exactly um, are the steps that a person would take to appear on Google Maps and even possibly beat out the competition when it comes to showing up on the maps in relation to their Google My Business page, their ads and all the other good stuff that goes along with it? Thanks, Becky. Yeah, here at Stock Group, we work with a lot of local businesses that take advantage of Google Maps positioning, either organically or you know, via paid search. Uh, it's one of the things that we provide as an added value. Uh, one of the main things that I usually recommend is make sure you have your Google Business Profile listing, you know, claim and link to your Google Ads account. Um, once you do that, you have to follow, you know, some few best practices on, on your website, uh, but mostly on the PPC side of things, you have to make sure that once this is linked, you know, you can either create a search campaign, you can either create a performance max with local, you know, with local settings and local goals, just to drive food traffic, just to make sure that you're showing on the ads that's complemented on the organic side, but putting a lot of effort into your, you know, business profile. Uh, by adding reviews, making sure you're putting a lot of photos, making sure that all your business information is correct and it's matching what, with what you have on the website. And that, that halo effect that you're going to see on the organic side of things is going to you know, do a lot of good work on the PPC side of things. How, Franklin, do, um, how do you actually get ads to show up on Google Maps specifically? Sure. Well, the first thing we do is, you know, once you link the profile, you create a campaign, you know, you depending on your goal, if you want to drive, you know, traffic, if you want to create leads, if you want to make sales, you select your goal in your campaigns. Then we go with our keyword research, you know, our market research, just to make sure how we're going to approach uh, what are the target locations that we're going to go after. Um, if you want to show in the Google Maps, then we would likely go with location keywords, near me keywords, you know, specific keywords to target and trigger this specific feature from Google Ads. You know, once you do that, then you're going to be complementing that with your, you know, your ad copy, your headlines, your descriptions, making sure that you're putting a lot of emphasis and that you're a local business that, you know, you service this X and Y, Z area. Uh, once you go over that, uh, you know, you do a quick Q&A, then you add assets, images, site links, you know, everything that at Google is it's allowing us to use just to make sure that our ads are, are as relevant as possible. Um, you know, once we get on with that, uh, we just go ahead and you know, launch the campaigns and set up our specific goals. We usually recommend nowadays going with the Pmax uh, for local goals, mainly because of the advantages that we have. You know, we could either show at Google Maps, you could show at Display, you could show our Gmail, you could show up YouTube, and, and all of that with the same goal of, okay, go and visit my, my you know, my, my store or give us a, a visit to the website. I think um, a lot of advertisers um, kind of wonder just logistically how they get those ads to appear. So I think if, if you're watching this and you're not sure where to go to start, to create your ads, like Franklin said, you start with the same place as you would run text ads on Google or even YouTube ads, really any other ads. It's you know, ads.google.com through the ads platform. Mm -hmm. And there's not Confusingly, there's not a, a unique campaign type where you can go and say like map campaign, show my ads on Google Maps. Instead, Google Maps is what they call a placement, which can be served along with other um, other placements 
when you run campaigns. So you can run performance max campaigns like uh, Franklin mentioned, and that can serve ads on Google Maps along with other of Google's properties. You can also run search campaigns. And when you link your Google business profile to those to your ad account, then you can also have those search campaigns. Um, essentially, Google Maps can be a placement for those search campaigns. So there's not a separate interface to go to. It's the same interface and really search and performance max are the primary campaign types that you can use to show your ads on maps. And it, again, it's not you're not just only going to have those ads show up on maps. Uh, you can't just tell Google, I only want to show up on maps. You're also going to show up on other Google properties like search. Um, and if you're using performance max, potentially YouTube and Google display as well um, as part of just how Google has uh, has structured things. Becky, are there any other common questions about uh, Google Maps and Google business profiles that uh, advertisers are asking these days? Yeah, I think one thing that we could clarify here on this conversation is the difference between running search ads to show up on Google Maps and how local service ads help people show up on Maps as well. So can you guys give me a breakdown on that? Yeah, absolutely. So local service ads, and if you're watching this, also go check out our video where we did deep dive into what is Google guaranteed, Google local service ads, Google verified, what does that all mean? But basically it is a specific type of campaign you run with Google. It actually is a different interface than the regular Google ads interface. And you have to jump through a bunch of hoops to prove your legitimacy to Google. Um, depending on what industry you're in, you might have to provide insurance, background checks, um, business documentation, you know, photo IDs, things like that to prove that you are who you say you are, you are a legit company, and then you can run what are called these local service ads, which are, um, you pay on a, a cost per lead model, which is different than everything else with Google, where literally you pay Google per, per lead, a lead being a phone call or a, a form submission that Google sends to you. And this type of ad uh, generally will show up like at the top of Google search results. If you if you search for something such as plumber near me or tree service near me, something like that, you'll often see this pop up with a little Google guaranteed badge, a Google verified badge, phone number, business information, stuff like that. And um, the you know ideal process for any local business, from my perspective, is to try both. Um, if you are in an industry that local service ads supports because they're not available for everyone. But if you're in an industry they support, um, you should definitely try it out and see what kind of cost per lead you can get and what the quality of those leads is. And then also I generally recommend running what I call more regular Google advertising, let's say search advertising, the text ads that come up as well as the ads that come up on Google Maps um, to, uh, you know, to capture more traffic to capture people who aren't tapping on those uh, local service ads and, uh, and so forth. Yeah, that's great. I, I hear people interchange the term all the time. I'm, I'm calling about my Google Maps, but it's really about local service ads. So that clarification, I think, makes makes a really big difference. I think my, the only question I have that I think we should answer to kind of close out is, is there anyone who is not eligible who can't show up on Google Maps? Great question. So technically, any business could create a Google business profile listing and and have the opportunity to show up on Google Maps because uh, any business can go out there and say, hey, this is my address, my business name, my phone number, etc. So the way I would look at it more is uh, whether or not that is relevant to your business. So if you are a local business, almost certainly Google Maps is going to be relevant to you because you want people to know you're local. If someone's searching for a plumber near me and you're near them, you want to show up. Uh, even if you're you know, a CPA, a local CPA looking for local clients, you want to be able to show up. If you are you know, an e-commerce company that is just you got a warehouse and you're shipping products out nationwide, people aren't coming to your location, um, it's really not that important for you to have because you're not doing local marketing, people aren't looking for you. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and create it anyway um, because then you can collect Google reviews, which is something that is useful and that e-commerce shoppers can see uh, what reviews people are leaving for you. It's not a bad idea to set up, but it's not nearly as important as for a local company who is trying to show up locally and get local business into their location. Awesome. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to know. Um, and I think a lot of people wonder about out there. I think the more places you show up, um, the more relevant you seem as a company. So whether it's a Google My Business page, Google Maps, your website across the boards, I think uh, the easier it is for people to find you, the more likely they're going to make a purchase from you or use your service. 
Thanks, guys. That was great, great answers today. It's been wonderful learning a little bit more about Google Maps, which seems to be such a vague term. Um, John, why don't you close us out for the day? Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. And if you don't want to have to worry about all these nuances and how to set things up and track it and all that fun stuff, Step Group is here to help. Uh, you can reach out through stepgroup.com for more info, or at the very least, tap subscribe and get more free videos just like this on YouTube in your feed. So until next time, John, Becky, and Franklin signing off.